Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, today we shall talk about sequences. We are entering uh, chapter 11 and this is uh, the first section uh, in this chapter. Uh, what is a sequence? Sequence is can be defined like uh, infinite list of numbers in definite order. So here is one list of numbers A1, A2, A3. They are first, second, third term. Uh, for example, you can take one, two, three, four. That's a sequence. Uh, another example is uh, one, one half, one third, one fourth, and like that uh, to infinity. Uh, more formal definition is to say that uh, a sequence is a function defined on the positive integers. A function f of n defined on the set uh, on the set uh, one, two, three, and so on. This is the set of positive integers. Um, it's also called a set of natural numbers, and there is a standard notation in mathematics, n capital. Uh, n capital is the set of natural numbers. Uh, let's make a good n here. Okay. Uh, so you have studied functions, you know what is a function, and here the domain is uh, the set of natural numbers. Now, when we have a sequence, we are interested in uh, convergence or divergence, uh, the behavior of the sequence when n becomes larger and larger. And uh, you have studied limits of functions and this is uh, practically the same thing uh, we have to study limits of this uh, function defined on the positive integers limits of sequences uh, so i shall use the same uh, intuitive definition that uh, we use for functions in calc 1 we say that uh, a sequence a1, a2, a3, and so on converges to some number a, or has limit a, when uh, the terms a sub n approach this uh, value a, this number a, uh, when uh, uh, n gets larger and larger. So n tends to infinity and a sub n tends to a. We write uh, limit a sub n equals a. We don't have to write n grows to infinity because it's understood. It's always the same. By default, n goes to infinity. So that's one notation. Uh, we have also uh, another notation which we can use from time to time. We just write this arrow uh, which shows this uh, tendency a sub n approaches a uh, so a sequence that has a limit which is convergent uh, a sequence that has a limit is called convergent and if limit does not exist sequence is called divergent <coughs> here are examples 
uh, so we have convergent sequence very simple one 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 all the time one it converges to one it has limit one obviously uh, we can take the sequence one one half one third one fourth uh, and uh, you see how these numbers are getting smaller and smaller when n grows uh, here the general term is one nth so if n becomes like hundred thousand million uh, one or a million will be very small and so forth and grows and grows and this sequence approaches zero all these numbers come closer and closer to zero so here we have uh, a convergent sequence which is uh, not trivial and we shall see many more convergent sequences a divergent sequence uh, is this one two three four uh, just the sequence of all natural numbers it grows and grows to infinity we write symbolically that uh, it grows to infinity this way also uh, for these sequences here we can write uh, limit one equals one this is for the first sequence one 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 all the time uh, we can also write limit one nth equals zero and uh, symbolically limit n is infinity again that's infinity is not a number but uh, this uh, notation simply indicates that n grows indefinitely getting larger and larger uh, a divergent sequence which is more interesting is this let's take negative one power n this will be the general term uh, what are the the terms of this sequence when n equals one uh, let's say i'm n equals one we have a one is negative one when n equals two negative one squared is plus one when n equals three negative one cubed is negative one uh, and we can continue like that we have a sequence negative one one negative one one negative one one like that to infinity this sequence is divergent because uh, there is no uh, it's not approaching some number there are two numbers which repeat here and when we talk about limit of sequence it should be just one limit and there is not a number uh, for which the sequence approaches it oscillates between negative one and one so that's a simple example of divergent sequence uh, so later we shall see many more examples now i want to mention that uh, the theorems that we have for functions for limits of functions they are the same for limits of uh, sequences limit theorems or limit properties uh, suppose we have two sequences a sub n approaching a limit a and another sequence b sub n with limit b then uh, a n plus or minus b sub n will approach a plus or minus b this is the same to say that limit a sub n plus minus b sub n equals limit a sub n plus or minus limit b sub n so we have such things for functions uh, limit of the sum is sum of limits limit of difference is different of limits and also for products and quotients uh, we can write limit a sub n b sub n 
will be limit a sub n times limit b sub n. So we can distribute the limit this way, and the same is true, remember, for limits of functions. Limit of product is product of limits. All the, the, the sequences here have to be converged, otherwise uh, this doesn't make sense. Limit of quotient is quotient of limits. Uh, now we have to make sure that the denominators are not zero. So b sub n should be not zero. The limit of b sub n should be not zero. If we have a, a constant, then uh, limit c times a sub n, so we multiply the sequence by constant, uh, this uh, results in factoring out the constant. You can do that. Actually, you can take a sequence uh, c, c, c uh, all the time and use the limit of products. Uh, another theorem that uh, comes from uh, limits of functions is the squeeze theorem. Uh, I shall state it here for sequences. So suppose we have a sequence a sub n which approaches a uh, and another sequence b sub n approaching the same a, same limit. Uh, if uh, you have a sequence c sub n, which is included between these two, for o n, then uh, c sub n is also convergent and approaches the same limit a. So it's squeezed between two sequences which uh, have the same limit and uh, c sub n approaches a also. We can in, um, write such a diagram, a sub n less or equal, c sub n less or equal b sub n, a sub n approaches a, b sub n approaches a, and uh, c sub n is squeezed between these two and has no other option but also goes to a. Uh, now, one thing we can use from the theory of functions is the rule of L'Hopital. Remember, the rule of L'Hopital is used when we have uh, undetermined forms, infinity over infinity, uh, things like that. And uh, sometimes we can use it for uh, sequences, but first it's good to know that... Uh, uh, let me write such a theorem first. Uh, suppose the sequence a sub n, which can be written like f of n, a function on the positive integers, extends to function f of x for x positive, all x positive, uh, then uh, limit a sub n, which will be limit uh, f of n, will be the same like limit f of x when x grows to infinity. So we have this uh, property. Uh, if the sequence extends to a function and uh, we know uh, what is the limit of the function when x grows to infinity, then this will be the limit of the sequence. Uh, if the limit of the function does not exist, the same will be true for the sequence. And uh, with this in mind, we can approach some uh, sequences by using the rule of L'Hopital. For example, find uh, limit 
n multiplied by exponential negative n power. The general term is n exponential negative n power. Uh, I can write this limit n exponential negative n will be limit n, bring the exponential denominator like that, and then you have undetermined form. We can uh, use limits of functions. Uh, so this sequence here extends to uh, limit, extends to x over x, e to the x. This is the same like limit x over e to the x when x grows to infinity. And we have uh, undetermined form infinity over infinity for which we use L'Hopital. We take the ratio of the derivatives. So this limit will be, if you differentiate on the top one and below e to the x, when x grows to infinity, that's one over infinity, that's zero. So uh, the limit of our sequence is zero. Limit n exponential negative n is zero. So I'm using extension to functions and I'm using the little L'Hopital. And we can do this uh, in many cases. Now, I want to mention uh, some important sequences which we can use like building blocks to study uh, other sequences and to compute limits. Basic important sequences. One very important sequence is the sequence 1 over n. Uh, so this is the sequence uh, 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, and so on, with limit 0. Uh, also, we can take 1 over n squared. This is a product of these two sequences, which both have limit 0, so this also approaches 0. And we can multiply by 1 nth as many times as you want. Uh, so we can have uh, 1 over n to some power k, <coughs> a fixed positive power k. This also approaches 0. So the limit is also 0 when n grows to infinity. And we, we don't even need to have a positive integer here in general. Uh, if we had the sequence 1 over n power a, where a is positive, that's important, the limit will be 0. Uh, we can also write limit 1 over n power a equals 0. Uh, we can even put the constant on the top, if c is constant, uh, the sequence c over n power a, again, I want to mention a is positive, this also has limit 0, because you can factor the constant, just ignore it, and c times 0 will be 0. So, starting with 1 over n, we're coming to this uh, sequence, which is uh, an important building block. And uh, this is how we can use it. Uh, we can study the sequence a sub n, which is uh, 3n squared minus 5n over n squared plus 10. Look at this sequence. <laughs> n takes values 1, 2, 3, 4, and we want to figure out what is the limit. Uh, in Calc 1, we have seen such uh, expressions where n is x. And uh, you study behavior of the function uh, at infinity. So we can deal here with the same way. Uh, we can rewrite the sequence this way. Dividing numerator and denominator by n squared. Uh, we can write 3 minus 5 over n. Dividing by n squared. 1 
plus 10 over n squared. And now <coughs> 5 over n will have limit 0. 10 over n squared also has limit 0. So the limit here will be 3 minus 0, 1 plus 0, which is 3. We found the limit here by using our uh, basic building blocks using the sequence 1 over n. So I'm working here with this arrow notation, uh, not writing limit, but it's the same thing. Many more examples will come later. Uh, here I divided top and bottom by n squared, but let's say we have something like this. a sub n is n squared plus 6, and below we have uh, 2 times n cubed plus n squared plus 5. Uh, <clears throat> the powers are different, so what shall uh, we divide uh, by n squared or by n cubed? Instead of wondering uh, by what to divide, uh, the best rule is this. Factor out the highest power of n in top and bottom, and then reduce. So I'm factoring n squared from the top. There'll be 1 plus 6 over n squared. Below the highest power is uh, n cubed. Let's take it out. 2 plus 1 over n plus 5 over n cubed. And then reducing by n squared, I can write a sub n this way. a sub n I can write like 1 nth. The result from reducing here. So if you reduce by n squared here, you get 1 nth. And then uh, separately, I have 1 plus 6 over n squared. 2 plus 1 nth plus 5 over n cubed. And then uh, I can figure out what is the limit. The sequence a sub n was written like product of two sequences. Uh, one nth will approach zero, and the other sequence here will approach uh, one plus zero, two plus zero plus zero, which is one half. Uh, so all the sequence will approach zero times one half, which is zero. This is how I can figure the limit, and all this is quite legitimate because I'm using um, limit of product, or the product of limits. There are no undetermined expressions. Okay, I want to mention one other very important basic sequence, which we shall use later, uh, in many, many cases. Important. sequence. Uh, if you take a number x which is less than 1 in absolute value, then the sequence x sub n approaches 0 when n grows. x is fixed and grows. For example, if you have 1 half power n, this has limit 0. So this is the sequence 1 half, 1 uh, fourth, 1 eighth, 1 over 16. <coughs> this will have limit 0. Uh, it can be even negative, like uh, negative 2 thirds power n will have limit 0 when n cross the infinity. If x is uh, 1, of course, if epsilon is not less strictly than 1, but equals, that, that's not true. Uh, if uh, x is bigger than 1 in absolute value, x sub n is divergent. And if the absolute value equals 1, then uh, if x itself is 1, it converges. If x is negative 1, it diverges. Um, uh, uh, sorry, uh, if, uh, yes, uh, mm, 
if uh, absolute value equals one, uh, x is either one or x is negative one. In the first case, it uh, converges. In the second case, it diverges. So I can write here, converges for x equals one, and x sub n diverges for x equals negative one. So we have seen this example before. Now I, I shall stop here. This will be the first part of the lecture. And then in the second part, we shall compute uh, particular limits. Uh, there will be practice on uh, this section. Goodbye.